today we're going to talk about the beginnings of creating a page in Elementor and having the start of our sections. So first things first, um, I've installed Elementor, I've created a page, I'm editing with Elementor, and this is what the page looks like. Um, you may find that when you open up the page that you still have your header and your footer, and if you do, we can change that, no problem. Most people are going to find that they need to do that um, if they want to have the type of page that I'm creating today. Um, I am creating a Linktree-esque page for people who want to have um, a page of their links present in like their Instagram bio, for example. And so I want to create a completely blank page that I can um, basically design however I want it to look without messing with my header and footer. Um, so to do that, I would go into the bottom left-hand corner to settings, and we're looking for page layout. It's currently set to Elementor Canvas, and um, there are definitely some other settings here. You may have different page layouts available to you depending on if you're using Elementor Pro or not, and whether or not you have um, some different layouts that you've already created on the back end. But at minimum, you will have default, Elementor Canvas, and Elementor Full Width. We want Canvas that's going to remove the header and footer and basically tell WordPress, please don't show any of my other um, theme related code or don't don't use any of my theme related code anywhere on this page. I want to design the whole thing myself. Um, but we, in order to really get started with the page, we need to add our first section. And to do that, you're going to see um, a couple buttons here. I may have more buttons than you. Again, I have Pro. But what we're really looking for is this little plus sign. Um, when you hover over it, it will say Add New Section. So we'll left click and it will ask us to select our structure. In this case, we just want a single column. We don't want double, triple, etc. cetera. Um, we just want a single column. So we'll left click on that. Um, up here at the top, you will see a big blue outlined box with a gray dotted line inner box. The inner box here is where the content shows up. Um, so if I were to drag and drop um, an image in there, for example, it's going to take up the full width of this content um, within the, the gray dotted line. Um, now here's the thing, since I am creating a page that is meant to be pretty much exclusively used on mobile. Um, pretty much anybody who's going to ever view this page will probably come to it through Instagram because it's meant to go on my Instagram bio. Um, I like to try to design it as if it is already mobile responsive. I mean, it will be anyway, but I like to look at it that way. So I'm gonna come up here um, and left click here in the center and it's currently set to content with boxed, which is what we want. Um, and then I'm going to change it to 500. That's just gonna kind of make this easier for me personally when I'm designing because it I just like the way this works. Yes, I can I can come down here to the bottom, click on responsive mode and change it to mobile and see it that way. And it does look a little bit different, but I just prefer working this way. It, it just feels better to me to be able to really see the whole page. Um, but the other thing that we need to take note of is the fact that anything that I add here into this section, I've already added an image, everything's going to be bumped up against each other. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So if I were to come in here and grab a couple of buttons, drag them in, there's no space between them and it doesn't look very good. So what we're going to want to do is um, set a widget space. So if I hover over this section, in the upper left-hand corner is the Edit Column button. It's a charcoal gray button. And we're going to edit the column. And here's a section called Widget Space. I recommend doing anything between like 10 to 20. So I'm going to just set it to 15 to show you what that looks like. And as soon as I do that, you can see there is spaces now in between the widgets. It looks so much better, much cleaner. Um, and it's just, it's just nicer and a better looking experience. Um, that's pretty much it in terms of what you need to know about creating a section, getting started for something like this. Obviously, there's much more in-depth stuff that you could do, a lot more um, advanced stuff, but this is probably all you're going to need. 